All right, welcome back to the class. Now we will talk about metamorphic rocks. It is another type of rocks uh, in the rock cycle. And metamorphic rocks are produced when pre-existing parent rock is transformed. Just like the term metamorphism, it means change, it means transformation. So when metamorphic, when, when a, a, any type of rock is transformed uh, after being exposed to a new environmental condition, then it will be called as a metamorphic rock. And the rock will transform into another type of rock because now the environmental condition, the surrounding pressure and temperature has changed. So the major reason for metamorphism or transformation of rock from one rock to another rock is elevated temperature and pressure and the elevation of temperature and pressure will occur as this rock will buried deeper and deeper in the ground so remember from sedimentary rock these uh, layers of sediments they deposit over each other so as this layering will continue that will continue to bury uh, the original layer of sediment deeper and deeper into the ground and that will expose that rock into higher temperature and higher uh, pressure uh, environment and that change in environmental condition will trigger this metamorphism or transformation of rock from one type to another and sometimes this rock can go so much deeper that it can even lead to some of the melting of the rock so that also depends how deep does this rock is buried how high the pressure and temperature is and if, what kind of minerals are present in that rock and if they're exposed to high temperature and pressure they may melt at certain point <coughs> metamorphism it progresses incrementally so you have uh, two level of metamorphism low grade or high grade low grade is one where you see a, a slight variation in the changes uh, or, or the transformation from parent rock to the new metamorphic rock and in the case of high grade metamorphism there is a significant change sometime even the minerals the, the 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 chemical nature of the rock itself also changes so that is called as high grade metamorphism So here are a couple of examples of uh, the parent rock transforming into a new metamorphic rock. As you can see, the shale, the original minerals or particles or constituent minerals, they are not very well aligned. They were disoriented, but after going through low-grade metamorphism under low temperature and pressure the minerals are more aligned in a in a banded or plated structure mm, this is another example where uh, an, another example of high-grade metamorphism where parent uh, rock uh, granodiorite uh, the original mineral structure the texture the minerals are randomly distributed but after going through high grade metamorphism, you can see a very distinct banding, the colored banding. So your your minerals of different density, they will align in a distinct layer. So based upon the density of these different minerals, they will align in different layers and that will lead to this very distinct uh, colored banding in the, in the child or metamorphic rock. So this is an example of folded gneiss. Uh, so this this word is uh, is pronounced as gneiss. Uh, so that is a type of metamorphic rock uh, rock that has gone through high grade metamorphism. Uh, metamorphism generally occurs in one of these two settings: contact or thermal metamorphism. Another one is regional metamorphism. So you may remember from uh, when we talked about igneous rock, right? Uh, so in igneous rock, you have these uh, uh, pool of magma inside the earth, right? So this is uh, suppose uh, the ground surface and your pool of magma, which is in liquid state as it is rising because of buoyancy, right? Remember that term? buoyancy due to density contrast 
this magma will start rising toward the surface and as it is rising it is uh, it coming in contact with other rocks right so these rocks are relatively cooler compared to this magma the magma could be at a temperature ranging from you know depending on at what depth this magma is rising from it could be from 300 degree Fahrenheit to 800 degree Fahrenheit or even higher mm -hmm. so this high temperature magma as it comes in contact as it is rising uh, because uh, shallower at shallower depth these rocks are at much cooler temperature compared to this magma so when this magma will will come in contact with these rocks they will start to transform kind of me uh, trigger metamorphism in these uh, cooler rocks uh, and that will be called as a contact metamorphism so it is only the 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 extent of metamorphism is limited to these rocks who are coming directly in contact with magma and that's why it is called as a contact uh, metamorphism Uh, because it depends on the physical contact between magma and these rocks which we are in a, in, in a cooler environment. So as soon as these rocks were exposed to a much higher temperature magma, they will undergo some sort of metamorphism right here at the point of contact. <coughs> on the other hand, uh, there is another term called as regional metamorphism. Uh, regional metamorphism occurs on okay, this is uh, an example of regional metamorphism uh, so this uh, occurs in the case where you have a process of mountain building uh, where the two continents are colliding and during this course of collision there is a very high pressure and temperature condition so here is this interface where these two continents are colliding so we will learn more in detail when we will uh, go into chapter uh, plate tectonics we will see how these continents are always moving around on our planet and during this motion they sometimes comes in uh, in collision course and they collide with each other and that is when these two continents you can imagine the the size of these continents how big they would be when they they undergo um, collision how much pressure and temperature they will produce so that will be called as a regional metamorphism because this collision will occur over hundreds of miles uh, uh, <coughs> of this contact or, or, or the site of collision between these two continents and that will lead to this metamorphism they will be squeezed there will be this layering or banding structure that will form there will be some overriding of one continent over another and during this collision the temperature and pressure will be reaching extremely high values so that will lead to a high grade metamorphism and that may actually be able to transform the mineral characteristic of the parent rock some of these rocks will melt and as they melt the liquid medium will allow the ions to start moving around and that will lead to recrystallization of minerals so that is uh, regional metamorphism pressure and high temperature during mountain building so mountain building is the process where two continental plates are colliding with each other and uh, uh, giving rise to this uh, a new landscape called mountain on our um, on our planet Earth. so we will see more in detail about this whole process of mountain building as we go into uh, into plate tectonics okay so now these are the agents of metamorphism the the actual agents that uh, trigger metamorphism heat is one like we saw in the example of contact metamorphism as the surrounding mm, temperature changes due to the the cooler rocks coming in contact with really hot magma that will lead to 
some chemical reaction and maybe recrystallization of minerals depending on how hot that magma is it may melt some of those um, uh, those minerals in, in in the in the rock uh, confining pressure uh, uh, like we remember the the burying or burial of sedimentary layers as they go deeper and deeper in the in the ground just like in the ocean uh, the water it provides confining pressure the similar uh, confining pressure will be observed as these layers of sediments are buried deeper in the ground uh, so and that will lead to some compaction and recrystallization of new minerals uh, differential stress this is another agent and this is only observed in the case of mountain building because now the stress is not same in all direction it is only mm, mm, dominant in the direction of collision course mm, so uh, differential stress uh, in this case uh, for instance you have uh, suppose one uh, continent here and you have another continent here they are colliding here so you have much higher uh, pressure or, or confining pressure in this direction the direction in which they are colliding uh, compared to vertical direction or the direction perpendicular to the uh, to the direction of collision so that is why it is called as differential uh, pressure because pressure in one direction is much much higher than pressure in other two directions whereas uh, the confining pressure the term means that the pressure is same in all direction chemically active fluids uh, sometime uh, there are chemically active fluids so as the water flows or the magma there are um, some highly chemically active uh, species present in the fluids and that can trigger some chemical reaction and that can cause the recrystallization of minerals which uh, comes in contact with these chemically active fluids it can dissolve a mineral from one area and precipitate it in another so that is uh, kind of a, a rearrangement of these mineral from one location to another uh, and it can also change the chemical composition of surrounding rack by creating even new crystals by means of chemical reaction once again, these are the examples of low-level, low-grade metamorphism and high-grade metamorphism. Metamorphism can change the texture of a rock. So if you remember the definition of texture, texture means the shape, size, and arrangement of minerals in a rock. Uh, so during metamorphism, that can change the shape and size and the arrangement of minerals. The arrangement we saw earlier uh, so the the minerals were arranged randomly and but after going through uh, some degree of metamorphism they are now uh, more uh, uniformly arranged in a banded structure so that is what it's going to change the texture of the original parent rock and high grade metamorphism can actually cause recrystallization it can even change the chemical composition of the parent rock